Our homes are getting more and more equipment that requires access to the internet. Just plugging the provider's cable into the PC, as before, is no longer enough. To distribute the internet to computers, laptops, smartphones and other devices, you now need a Wi-Fi router. These small boxes with horns, or without, antennas can be built in, can vary greatly in their capabilities and price. An untrained person can easily get confused. We decided to facilitate the task and picked up the most interesting models for different wallet sizes. Kinetic Giga KN-1010, a router for home and office. Kinetic Giga is an almost top model in the manufacturer's lineup, the capabilities of which are enough not only for home use, but also for installation in a small office. The dual-band router is equipped with four external antennas operating in a MIMO 2x2 configuration. The bandwidth at 2. 4 GHz is 400 megabits per second, at 5 GHz to 867 megabits per second, and the transmit slash receive amplifiers for each channel provide more uniform coverage. On the side are the USB 2. 0 and USB 3. 0 ports. The function buttons next to each of them are responsible for safely removing USB devices, plus the option of remapping them to perform other actions is offered. In addition to printers, drives and mobile modems, you can insert proprietary deck telephony modules and DSL connections into the connector, although they are rarely found on sale. Kinetic Internet Centers are also easily integrated into a mesh system. For several years, the developers finalized the technology, and if the first versions required connecting nodes using a cable, then in new firmware you can do without it. The routers learned how to create a hidden access point for exchanging data wirelessly. Moreover, simple single-band models can act as elements of a seamless mesh network. In the back, next to the gigabit LAN and WAN ports, there is an SFP slot. It is unlikely to be needed to connect to the provider, but it can be switched to LAN mode and organize fiber optic communication between remote rooms. Users can also start the VPN server. TP-Link Archer C7, mesh at the minimum. If the new router costs several times more than the old one, this does not mean that the range of the Wi-Fi network will also improve significantly. Productive models are appreciated for their stable operation with a large number of working devices and some additional functions, while the transmitter power can be increased only to a certain limit, due to legislative norms. Here TP-Link Archer C7 has a trump card in the form of one mesh technology. The router can be used together with signal amplifiers to create a seamless connection over the entire area of the house. This method is less expensive than buying a mesh system, and is more convenient in comparison with connecting a second router or a regular Wi-Fi repeater. In TP-Link Archer C7, one mesh support appeared with software updates, so the option may appear only after downloading the current firmware version. The router itself belongs to the AC1750 class, the speed can reach 1300 megabits per second in the 5 GHz band and 450 megabits per second at 2.4 GHz. Firewall, parental control, VPN, IPTV and other standard functions of routers in place. In addition to the WAN and 4 LAN ports, all gigabit Ethernet, there is a USB 2.0 connector for connecting an external drive, modem or printer. For convenience, the power and WPS buttons are placed on the rear end, the last one by long pressing turns off Wi-Fi. The model supports remote control using the TP-Link Tether application, there is also a familiar web interface. D-Link Deer 853, a home router with USB which is inexpensive. D-Link Deer 853 looks ugly, but offers a good set of features for the money. The router operates in two bands and supports 2x2 MIMO technology for simultaneous data transfer to multiple devices. In front is a USB 3.0 connector, it is fully functional, you can connect a network printer, 3G, 4G modem or an external drive. There is a DLNA media server function and a built-in torrent client for downloading files. The router is configured either through a browser or in the D-Link Assistant mobile application. Of the useful additions is the ability to create a guest network and block access to certain sites. Immediately after the initial setup, it is recommended to update the D-Link Deer 853 software. This can be done directly in the web interface, the router itself will find and download the desired firmware file. In the next update to version 4.0, the developers promise to add the option of reassigning any of the 4 gigabit LAN ports to the backup WAN. In addition, the Super Mesh feature will appear, allowing you to combine several company routers into one seamless network. On the back of the case are the power, Wi-Fi and WPS quick buttons. Mercusis AC12G, affordable gigabit router. Dual band routers are not that expensive. 
Mercus's AC12G also offers gigabit ports, which means that it will not have to be changed in a year or two due to the transition to a faster tariff. The router is controlled through a browser, a simple interface mode with basic settings is supported, there is also parental control and a guest access point function isolated from home network devices. The model is suitable for watching internet television, IPTV. The Mercus's AC12G is equipped with four external antennas, two for each band. The maximum theoretical connection speed is 300 megabits per second at 2. 4 GHz and 867 megabits per second at 5 GHz, a total of almost 1200 megabits per second in accordance with AC1200 class. In practice, it will not be possible to achieve gigabit speeds, but for most home users this is not necessary. At the back is a WAM port and 3 LANs for wired devices. The only inconvenience is that the tongues of the connectors practically aid but the protruding part of the case. To disconnect the cable, you need to get used to it. Bottom made holes for hanging on the wall. 10 to F3, affordable long-range router you can do just one thing, but do it well. 10 to F3 is a single-band model that creates a wireless network at a frequency of 2. 4 GHz with a data transfer rate of up to 300 megabits per second. The router is equipped with three external antennas and is able to provide Wi-Fi coverage on an area of up to 200 square meters. In practice, everything will depend on the layout, wall thickness and other factors, but F3 owners also note a good communication range. At the back are a WAN port and three LANs, speeds of up to 100 megabits per second. The router is very easy to configure in the web interface. Here you can limit the bandwidth for individual devices on your home network. 10 to F3 supports IPTV and bridge mode for expanding Wi-Fi network. There is a wall mount, it seems to be a trifle, but in budget models this is often forgotten. TP-Link Archer MR400, a router for a summer or a country house. In places where high-speed wired internet is unavailable, it remains to rely on mobile operators. If the internet is needed not only on your smartphone, a router with a built-in 3G, 4G modem will do fine with the distribution of Wi-Fi to all devices in the house. The TP-Link Archer MR400 has a micro SIM card slot, and with the included adapter you can insert a smaller nano SIM. The router automatically establishes a connection with the base station. There is a signal strength indicator on the case. The current hardware version of the TP-Link Archer MR400 V3 received two built-in Wi-Fi antennas. External are responsible for working in a mobile network, and since they are removable, with poor reception there is the possibility of connecting a more powerful external antenna. The speed of 4G internet can reach 150 megabits per second for download and 50 megabits per second for upload. The router creates two wireless access points in the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands with a bandwidth of 300 megabits per second and 867 megabits per second, respectively. If we talk about wired connections, there are three LAN ports and a combined LAN slash WAN. You can use the stationary internet, but the speed will be limited to 100 megabits per second. In addition to the standard admin panel, the proprietary TP-Link Tether application is available, and in future firmware developers promise to add support for the already mentioned One Mesh technology to expand Wi-Fi network coverage. Kinetic DSL KN 2010, a universal ATS router. Providers are gradually abandoning outdated ATS technology and are expanding their optical networks, but a faster connection is not yet available everywhere. With a DSL connection, a subscriber can be offered a simple Wi-Fi router with a relatively small coverage area. Kinetic DSL is a much more interesting alternative. The model runs under the same operating system as the company's top routers, and also offers tools for flexible interface configuration. For example, you can insert a compatible 4G modem into the USB port and use it as a backup channel. And if you change the type of connection or provider, any of the 400 megabit LAN ports easily turns WAN. Kinetic DSL supports only one band, 2.4 GHz, data transfer rates can reach 300 megabits per second. 5D by external antennas with receive amplifiers provide a good range. The functions of the file server, DLNA and time machine are supported, plus there is a standalone torrent client transmission. And now we are moving on to mesh systems. Mesh technology has already been mentioned above in the text. It allows you to create a seamless Wi-Fi in large rooms so that when switching from room to room the user does not interrupt the video and does not drop the call in the messenger. Some manufacturers have implemented this functionality in ordinary routers. Then what is the difference? 
The nodes of the mesh system are the same routers, but with a more interesting appearance, not everyone immediately recognizes the device for distributing the internet in them, and the simplest configuration process. Even a beginner can handle it. TP-Link Deco M4, your first Wi-Fi mesh. In the line of mesh systems, TP-Link is the most affordable model with gigabit ports, and for most users its capabilities will be enough. The modules themselves resemble a cylinder in shape and have two built-in dual-band antennas. The speed can reach 867 megabits per second in the 5 gigahertz band and 300 megabits per second at 2.4 gigahertz. The MU MIMO technology is announced. To configure the system, you need to download the TP-Link Deco application for Android and iOS and follow the prompts. Nodes can be cabled for more stable operation, but then part of the mesh magic is lost. The official website states that two such stations are capable of covering an area of up to 260 square meters, and in total, up to 10 DECO devices can be used with a wireless connection. In TP-Link DECO M4 there are only two network connectors, both can be used as a WAN to organize a backup channel. There is parental control, but flexible range management, VPN and some other functions of modern routers are not provided. By the way, for a truly seamless network, you need to enable fast roaming in the settings, old devices may not support the 802.11R standard, and, apparently, the manufacturer decided to play it safe. Deco can work with Amazon Alexa Voice Assistant and ETH Automation Service. And most importantly, the modules of all the rulers are fully compatible. They can be combined in any combination depending on the needs of a particular user. TP-Link Deco M5, Seamless Wi-Fi in a Big House the TP-Link Deco M5 in the lineup stands above the Deco M4. The system modules look like a round white box with a wave on the top panel and a single LED in the center. There are two gigabit Ethernet ports, the provider cable can be connected to any of them. The bandwidth reaches 400 megabits per second at 2.4 GHz and 867 megabits per second at 5 GHz. Since the nodes exchange data with each other, on a connected laptop or smartphone, the maximum access speed will be lower. Inside each Deco M5 are four antennas. The possibility of mounting on the wall is not provided. Of the differences from the younger model, built-in antivirus, free in the first three years of use, and an increased range of Wi-Fi. The company promises a stable connection on an area of up to 350 500 tenths of a square meter using two or three modules, respectively. Wireless network is easy to expand with new modules. The setup will take just a couple of minutes, put another deco in the zone of reliable signal reception, plug it into the network and wait until the working points recognize their brother. If the capabilities of the deco M5 seem redundant to you or, conversely insufficient, you can use stations of other lines in building the mesh. Deco nodes are sold, including by the piece, this allows you to build a mesh system according to your budget. For example, several deco M5 modules can be used with the more affordable deco E4. Although buying large sets of one series is sometimes even more profitable. ASUS and Wi-Fi AC, CT8, Advanced Mesh Network Advanced users often lack the functionality of mesh systems. With ASUS and Wi-Fi AC, CT8, is a completely different story. The need for wired connections is completely covered by 4 gigabit Ethernet network connectors, instead of 2, like most competitors, and a universal USB 3.0 port on each module. So, if a printer has already been connected to one of the nodes, the remaining ones have free USB for working with external drives and 4G modems. Declared support for a VPN server and prioritizing adaptive coast traffic. The developers did not forget about the parental control function, plus the iProtection Pro system based on Trend Micro Technologies provides an additional level of protection against DDoS attacks and other threats. The kit is configured through the ASUS router mobile application in three simple steps. For more flexible management you can open the web interface. ASUS and Wi-Fi AC operates in three bands. At 2.4 GHz in 2x2 mode, the speed can reach 400 megabits per second, and at 5 GHz from two channels with a throughput of 867 megabits per second and 1733 megabits per second, the latter is reserved for communication between the modules. Six Wi-Fi antennas are hidden inside the case. Some of them are located at an angle of 45 degrees, which improves signal reception in multi-story buildings. A set of two modules is designed for an area of up to 500 square meters. The system can be used to expand an existing Wi-Fi network if the ASUS router with support for proprietary iMesh technology is already running in the house. Finally, 
Zen Wi-Fi can be supplemented with mesh points from the Asus Lyra line, for example, Lyra Mini washers with good performance in the 2.4 GHz band. How to choose a router? First, a few words about what a router is, in many ways, it looks like a regular computer, it also has a processor, RAM, built-in storage and an operating system. This little box establishes an internet connection and distributes traffic between connected devices. When a large number of gadgets go to the network at the same time, it becomes difficult to control the flow of data breaks and freezes can occur. It is worth considering buying a more powerful router that can withstand increased loads. And yes, the router and the routers are one and the same. Now let's turn to practical tips. Find out the type of connection that the provider uses. The cable from the provider is inserted into the WAN input connector. The most commonly used Ethernet connection is through the RJ45 port. But if we are talking about a regular telephone line, you need a router with an RJ11 port and an ANSI modem. When the possibility of a wired connection is not available in principle, you have to narrow down the choice to routers with a built-in 4G LTE modem, or with a USB port into which you can insert an external modem. In the latter case, before buying, you need to find out which 3G, 4G modems a particular router model is compatible with and whether such a function is supported at all. USB availability does not guarantee this. The connection can be made using the L2TP, PPPoE and PPTP protocols. These technologies are supported by all modern routers. How many devices will connect via cable? A home PC, a game console, and a smart TV are always in one place, and if possible, it is better for them to use a wired connection, it is more reliable and often faster than Wi-Fi. Often routers are equipped with four LAN ports to which such stationary devices can be connected, but in some models, there are only two or three of them. However, not only quantity is important. There are two types of network ports. Fast Ethernet has a maximum data transfer rate of 100 megabits per second, and for gigabit Ethernet it is 10 times higher, 1 gigabit per second. If the tariff rate is higher than 100 megabits per second, choose among models with gigabit LAN and WAN. This is also a good growth option so you don't have to buy a new router later when switching to a faster tariff plan. Pay attention to Wi-Fi standards. Wireless routers create a Wi-Fi network around them to distribute the internet without a cable. The simplest models work only in the 2.4 GHz frequency range according to the 802.11N standard. But saving on such a purchase is not always justified. Other access points nearby and home appliances, microwave ovens, baby monitors, can cause serious interference. As a result, the user will often have to watch video download circles, breaks in sessions in online games, and poor picture quality during video calls. A more stable connection will be provided by a router supporting 802.11 acres standard with a frequency of 5 GHz. In this range, the maximum data transfer rate is much higher, except that the Wi-Fi range will be slightly less. Models operating at 5 GHz are usually backward compatible with 802.11n, they are also called dual band. Devices with support for the latest standard Wi-Fi 6 or 802.11x have already appeared on sale. It allows you to transfer data more efficiently in existing 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz spectra, but compatible routers are not cheap. Over time, the technology will become more accessible, and then it will already be possible to consider such models for purchase. Interestingly, with the introduction of Wi-Fi 6, 802.11x, previous versions of the standard also received a short version of the name, 802.11 acres can be referred to as Wi-Fi 5, and 802.11n, as Wi-Fi 4. Marks N300 or AC1200 on the box with the router indicate its class. N indicates that the device only works at 2.4 GHz, AC indicates support for 802.11 acres, and AX indicates Wi-Fi 6. The number after the letters reflects the theoretical maximum bandwidth, taking into account all supported ranges. On the 802.11N router, you can get up to 600 megabits per second, class N600, with two operating frequencies, more than 3000 megabits per second, if we are talking about top-end models. There are also three band routers, they create three networks at once, one at 2.4 GHz and two at 5 GHz. What do you need to know about antennas? Antennas can be external or built-in when nothing sticks out of the router. Sometimes in one device, both types are combined. The more antennas, the more stable the coverage and the higher the maximum, theoretical, data transfer rate in a Wi-Fi network. It is recommended to choose a model with two or more antennas, the gain of which is 5 dB or higher, although this parameter is less often indicated in the characteristics. Manufacturers usually recommend installing external antennas vertically, 
but no one forbids experimenting with tilt angles. Multiple antenna systems allow data to be transmitted to multiple devices simultaneously. This technology is called MU-MIMO, its presence in the router is a good bonus. If the antennas are removable, if necessary, you can install more powerful and slightly improved Wi-Fi reception. Why do I need a USB port on the router? The functionality of the USB connector may vary from model to model. Some routers allow you to connect a network printer or USB modem to it, while others only support working with external drives. More advanced devices even have a download manager for offline downloading torrents without a computer. For those who plan to organize a media server and broadcast high-definition video to a TV, USB 2.0 speeds will no longer be enough. In this case, it is worth looking at options with a USB 3.0 port, like the D-Link DIR-853. And in the Kinetic Giga KN-1010 there are inputs of both types. Which router to choose for a large house? If the previous router did not cover the entire room, the new one is also unlikely to succeed. For a large house, the simplest and most convenient solution will be a mesh system, like TP-Link Deco M4 or Asus Zen Wi-Fi AC. They consist of several modules that create a seamless network immediately throughout the territory. When switching between rooms, devices will seamlessly switch from one point to another without interruptions for the user. As an alternative, you can also consider the classic router with support for mesh technology, for example, Kinetic Giga and TP-Link Archer C7 from our rating. We hope this helps you choose which router would be best for your home. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, leave a comment below and let us know what you think of this list and which router do you use and why. Thanks for watching.